Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for Sunday the 18th of April 2021 for all signs. So as always, it may or may not resonate with you. You decide what resonates. Um, and remember my readings can last a few days longer. The dailies can generally re resonate a few days longer than when they're released. <clears throat> okay, let's pull an angel card, see what the message is for today. What do we have, please? I've got communicate clearly. Now that could be internal communication. It can also be some communication in your external environment. Okay. So let's pull some cards and see what we get. So what do we have, please? Angel spirits guides. What do people need to hear the most? And it will be for Sunday, the 18th of April, 2021. All signs. So what do people need to hear the most? Thank you. All signs. <clears throat> Eight of pentacles. Three of pentacles. The moon. The empress. Nice energy there. The strength card. <laughs> Nine of Cups, love that energy. And we have the Six of Swords. I'm going to pull a card for this Communicate Clearly as well. Let's clarify this Communicate Clearly, thank you. Let's clarify this communicate clearly thank you yeah it's with the eight of pentacles interestingly enough so you might be meeting an empress um, it can, you know, the Empress can be a person, Venus in Taurus. There is an energy here of, of she's a successful energy. She is an abundant energy. She is uh, somebody who doesn't feel lack. She understands she has everything that she needs to bring bounty into her life and understands how to manifest and attract bounty. I'm getting attraction energy. I'm getting some attraction energy very strongly here. You know, law of attraction is what she is is linked to as well. Uh, because when you are feeling at one with who you are, which is generally the, the eight of pentacles, is somebody who is aligned to do well in their external environment to what their inner calling is. You know, there's definitely an energy here of you just being at one with yourself, that's when you shine. And I'm definitely getting this energy here, you know, that there's material gain, but I'm also getting recognition for the work that you do. There is definitely some attraction energy, attracting success. Now, you could be dealing with, a, generally as the Empress would be, a, a, she's generally a divine feminine energy. So you could be dealing with a powerful businesswoman here. You might be getting noticed. Either that or the Empress as an energy can be the birth of something new. Um, you're sowing new seeds for real growth. It's very good in terms of new things happening in terms of money areas. can also be in terms of love as well. But it feels with the pentacles on the table, it feels more financial. It feels that some of you are wanting to bring, you know, Everything that is stable and secure in our life is pen pentacles energy. So it feels like that's where your focus is on bringing material gain into your life in whatever way this resonates for you. This could be in terms of excelling in your current job or it could well be being noticed by somebody new. But they appreciate your skills, your talent, uh, what you can bring to the party. And that's what I'm feeling here. You know, the Eight of Pentacles... It feels in a situation somebody is working hard to bring material gain into their life. And again, there's this strength card. I mean, certainly if you're going for new 
I mean, this can be new partnerships, um, you know, it could be the beginning of success in a manifesting new or next level energy in career. It definitely feels that you have, I mean, you're very, mag you know, it's a really, mag I'm getting a really magnetic energy. There's a real attraction energy because it's somebody who does what they do very, very well. And they're being noticed for that which means that any kind of like meeting or conversation that you have here is going to result in success because when somebody understands what they do in detail and what they can bring to the party, that makes them incredibly persuasive. Yeah, even though maybe um, they may not realise that you're trying to be strong to face adversity and fear. There is definitely an energy here of this is being masked by somebody who can talk the talk. And because what they do, they do very, very well. Um, there's a reason that you need courage and strength. But this, you know, remember this is a card of persuasion as well. And I definitely get this energy of Yet there's just an energy of attracting success. Now it might well be that there has been some fear or adversity that you faced in terms of money, career, finances. But the message is that if you understand, you know, and appreciate and don't feel the lack, you know, in that know that you're good at what you do, know that you know everything about the work that you do, what you can bring to the party for next level or new job, new position, new partnership, then everything falls into place. It just feels very beautiful. Because the moon energy can be a card of fear, you know, lack of clarity, uncertainty. Yeah. And yet this is hidden blessings. You don't see the big picture, but the universe does. So we are always guided by our intuition when the moon appears. And it's almost kind of like you're being aligned to your soul path here because I see this card of alignment here. The Six of Swords with the moon energy. It, it just feels like things are happening behind the scenes and it's almost kind of like, again, alignment, alignment energies. I, I definitely feel in this energy, you know, this is somebody who is moving from troubled times to calmer waters, you know, heading in the right direction with the Six of Swords. Um, putting the worst behind you because it feels like you because you understand what you're talking about and don't doubt that I mean there's definitely this energy of somebody is very attractive and persuasive in this energy to really get what they want you know and the nine of, of cups is the goal it's the wish fulfillment it's getting your wish it's but it's this person who makes it happen the red hat is all about mental acuity, setting your sights on what you want and then understanding that you have every ability to make it happen. So uh, there's some, someone's wishes coming true. And it feels like that will allow you to put a difficult situation behind you. Yeah, I've got the victory card at the bottom of here. And that's also about recognition. I'm going to, let's, let's get a card for the Six of Swords. Don't, I mean, you know, if anybody's, I, I, too many, too many. If anyone's worried about, I mean, that Queen of Swords was all about balance, I think, or you could be meeting a Queen of Swords, a Libra, because that could tie in with the Empress here, Taurus or Libra. Um, yeah, King of Pentacles. It is, you are definitely heading towards something bringing back stability security safety into your life king of pentacles is male or female energy it can also be somebody in business but i'm getting with the pentacles energy here it's just somebody who is striving to bring stability security material success back in their lives he is a sign of an achiever so it, it feels in this energy there's definite focus there's definite hard work uh, but it feels like the resolve is going to bring the result. And you're being told by the universe, you don't lack for anything here to get this goal, to get this wish. Yeah. 
So very nice energy. So inspiration, be prepared as you'll soon receive a visit from the fairy of inspiration come dusk or dawn, she can call at any time. Yeah, be inspired and interesting. I looked at the bottom of the deck and we have new beginnings. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea, Empress Energy. Nurture, protect and nurture your ideas, you would a baby. I, I feel in this energy, there is somebody who's very, very magnetic, attracting success. Uh, there's a message to communicate clearly, but no, it, it feels in this energy what you're going for is absolutely the right thing for you. And it definitely feels in this energy that you'll be able to put some kind of difficulty behind you because you're heading towards bringing stability, security, safety, success back in your life. Powerful energy. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.